YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic Food Review just for you. I am in Chicago, Illinois at Wong Cow because one of my awesome subscribers knew I was coming here and said, hey Ken, you gotta go to Wong Cow for the best dim sum in the city. So let's go give it a shot. All right, before we start our dim sum experience, I'm gonna have a quick sip of tea. And the dumplings that I chose were the seafood dumplings the pork or barbecue pork buns, the scallop dumplings, and the chicken rolls. Here's the price breakdown. Scallop dumplings were $3.45. The seafood dumpling, I think it was $3.95. Uh, the chicken roll was $2.95. The barbecued pork bun was $2.95, a total of $14.69. Let me know if that's a good price in your area. Okay, let's get started. It looks like I'm going to try the seafood dumpling first. And as you can see, they're very sticky. Uh, they're very wiggly. And uh, they definitely need... They gave me four sauces, so I thought I'd try each of the sauces. This one was a spicy one. They all have a soy sauce taste to them, but they're kind of thick like syrup. They also gave me plum sauce and mustard. And when I asked the waitress should, which ones should I use, she took away the plum sauce and mustard, seeing that I just ordered dumplings. And after trying all four, I decided just the regular thick soy sauce is the preferred taste for me. And here we go, trying the seafood dumpling. Again, it was very, very, very hot. After I recovered from my burns, uh, the taste was okay. I definitely would recommend putting a sauce on it. The rice noodle rolls are very bland tasting and they definitely need that extra bit of oomph to them. Okay, next up is the chicken rolls. I actually thought these were pork. I thought they made a mistake. That's how uh, differently tasting, as you can see by the expression on my face, I have no idea what this is. As you can see, there's a little corn stalk in there. I'm not sure what the wrapper is made out of and it fell apart very quickly and it was burning my mouth once again. If anybody can tell me what that thing is wrapped in, let me know because it wasn't the most pleasant thing I've ever eaten. The mini corn was fine, uh, the chicken was fine, but like I said, I have no idea what that wrapper is made out of. It took a little while to get this one down, a lot of pieces to it, kept falling apart, uh, and definitely the soy sauce kicked it up a notch. I wouldn't suggest trying this thing without soy sauce. Check this out. Ooh. Here we go. Dip it in there, Ken. Nice. Okay, next up is the scallop dumpling. As you can see, the sticky rice roll is sticking to the paper and other rolls. There you go, there's a close up. I technically probably should have dipped it deeper into soy sauce. Like I said, it just had this very bland taste, the rice part of it, so it was nice when you did put more on it. If I go back again, which I will, I will definitely put like a bowl of it to the side and dip it as if I'm eating sushi. Okay, now it's time to try the barbecued pork bun. And you, as you can see, the bun is sticking to everything too. A lot of sticky things in this restaurant and it fell apart. So it is a, a bun that is stuffed with barbecued pork. Uh, the barbecued pork was really good, uh, but the bun was really dry. So you definitely had to have tea or water on the side while you ate this. Okay, out of the four choices that I chose off the menu, the scallop dumplings were definitely my favorite. Uh, then we'd probably go to the seafood dumpling, then to the possibly the chicken, and then the bun, the barbecue pork bun. Uh, those were that's probably the order in which I would choose it. And that's about all I could eat. I had to take the rest back to my hotel for a snack later on. I'd like to thank Earl, one of my amazing subscribers, who suggested this location for me to try. Thanks, Earl. Well, there you go, guys. I ate some dim sum just for you. Uh, on my rating scale, I'm gonna have to go indifferent on this. The the dumplings, uh, I haven't 
tried these things too often and they're definitely a little bit of an acquired taste um, because it just it they're so, they're so kind of wiggly slimy little things and you're like I don't know and I, there's just something about it I, I just couldn't really get into it and the the bread bun thing was really dry and and so i'm just gonna go in different on this one uh, let me know what you think about uh, dim sum and let me know if you've come to this location in chicago uh, so if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up ding 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 and we'll see you next time on another ken domic food review ken domic out Boop. welcome back to another ken domic food review for you Boop. I'm not sure if it's a play on words, but it's one cow, or I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to the Ken Dom <coughs> to try some dim sum for the very first time. This is the very first time.